What's happening everyone, it's John and I've got a review on iDelete which is a fantastic communication app for sending texts and pictures to others without there ever being a trace. Let's go ahead and launch iDelete and you're going to see that it prompts you for a pin. I'm going to enter mine, easy enough. So it's very secure and what you can tell right out of the get go is that it has a very clean and simple design and that's what's really great about this. So you're going to be able to send texts and pictures to others and what I have over here on another phone is actually a text message going out to this phone which is the iDelete on this app. So I'm using iDelete. You can check this button right here and it'll add screenshot protection and self-destruct timer. I've got it to 20 seconds. What I'm going to do here is just just say hi, use a couple emojis here, and then take a photo off camera of this little wristband that I have here of the Lakers, which aren't doing too good right now, but uh, let's go ahead and use that. And now it's going to go ahead and send it, and I'll get a push notification on this phone if I didn't have the app open. I still will right now, so I'm going to confirm the send put this phone to the side and I'm actually going to cover my phone. So as you can tell, it's showing that I got a message here, and what I'm going to do is just open this without showing my phone number and uh, you're going to see that I have the message and what you got to do, I've got 20 seconds here, it's going to self-destruct, is you've got to use this magnifying glass and uh, look over the image as well as the text. So it's a really cool way. The only thing is that, for example, right there, I'm going to go ahead and screenshot. There is no screenshot protection that I've seen that, and it actually freezes it there so it makes it easier that I've seen that actually works 100% of the time. To sum everything up, I really like iDelete and the concept. It's really cool to send messages without being traced. And the only thing that I have a problem with is the screenshot protection not working. But other than that, I definitely recommend everyone check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below as well as subscribing so you're notified of my future videos. Alright, catch you later.